Hi Leo, welcome back to Empress 3333. Um, thank you for like, sharing, subscribing, subscribing. Leo, this is your reading for May 2022. Okay, Six of Wands, Moon, and Two of Swords. Wow. Okay. Leo's reading, May 2022. Leo's reading, May 2022. Leo's reading, May 2022. Eight of Pentacles. Where did we put the cards, guys? Okay. Leo's reading. Dang. King of Swords, somebody's mad. What? Oh, my goodness. Okay, guys, so you guys see this? This is Five of Swords. There's the devil. All right, he's coming out too. So here's the Five of Swords, okay? I'm seeing that. And then here's the Five of Wands and the devil. So um, this one, I see conflict with money. Maybe you don't see it coming with the Two of Swords, but like somebody's got some kind of conflict going on with money, okay? Some kind of toxic money situation going on. I'm getting like maybe someone borrowed something or something like that and they're not paying you back. It's causing conflict, a lot of arguments, gossip, you know, fights. Yeah, sun cards back here. Yes, for some of you guys, yes, that's happening or has happened. Someone's mad, king of swords. Yeah, again, work-related. Somebody's got problems on the job here. That's almost every job. It really doesn't matter where you work. All right. Um, we have Nine of Swords. I'm taking all these cards here. Ten of Pentacles. And Leo, this is uh, Three of Swords. The bottom, we have Judgment. So, okay, this person is mad. I feel it's not you. I feel it's this other person. This person wants a second chance. Yeah, they're mad. Aquarius, it could be an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They're mad because it looks like, you know, it's the moon surrounding them, all right? They don't know if they're going to have a second chance with you, I feel. With this moon card here, they're very emotional. So they could have Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio in their chart. Yeah, they don't know if they're going to have a second chance with you. For some of you guys, you could be married to them with this Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. They're up at night. They can't sleep. They're stressed out. Three of Swords. They're heartbroken over you. Because you blocked them. Two of Swords is sitting over these three energies. They can't get to you. All right? Leo's general reading, May 2022. Knight of Wands. Yeah, someone wants to reach out, take action, get in contact with you. They feel, too, you got a lot of options, a lot of opportunity and love. Seven of Cups, Two of Cups. Leo's Energy, uh, May reading, May 2022. Leo's reading, May 2022, Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're happy. You're happy um, after this situation ended. You're happy, but someone's mad over here. You don't care. That's what I'm getting, Leo. You don't care. They want a second chance. It's like, yeah, but what did they do? You know, they did ultimate here. This is the uh, nine of swords, ten of um, three. I mean, three of swords. I don't know why I was going to say ten of swords. Okay, so for some of you guys, they did the ten of swords, swords, which is just the worst in the deck. Like, you know, just completely betrayed you. Yeah, this person's showing up in your reading. I see the sun. Look at that, guys. You see that? The star and the sun, guys. You see that? How it's propped open a little? All right, so you're happy. I feel like you're you're at your happiest that you've been in a long time i feel i feel like this person could have been draining manipulating because the king of swords reverse is just narcissistic a little bit just kind of like um 
controlling. They're just overdoing their control, narcissistic uh, acting, kind of, um, you know, cutting you down with their mouth could be rude. Yeah, but you got the star and the sun. These are the best cards in tarot. You're happy, and we already split the deck, and you had the Ten of Cups. You're very happy, uh, Leo, this month. You're not letting nothing bother you. That's what I keep getting. You're not letting nothing bother you. You got victory, Leo, as well. So financially, yeah, in the workplace, the Six of Wands is over the Eight of Pentacles. You got victory at your workplace this month. You could be getting public recon recognition, some type of award. This can also symbolize uh, promotion, raise moving up um you know if there's any place to move in a job you're able to move there you see what i'm saying it's just favorable for you and a good time for you um yeah eight of pentacles is virgo capricorn taurus the six of wands is aries leo sagittarius now that's what i'm saying i just feel that you guys are just being rewarded some type of way through the job i feel like even to the boss could be noticing your work that's for some of you guys take it as apply and could be promoting you you know you're one of their best workers you come to work all the time it's something like that it's just giving you public recognition this month and if it's not in work it's a, it's also public recognition and something you don't see neither with the um, six of wands next to the moon as well um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you guys could be um, getting recognition from somewhere that you don't even know about is hidden. Yeah, you don't see it. This public recognition could come out of nowhere. And it kind of surprises you. That's what I'm thinking. Um, okay. See here. Leo's reading, May 2021. Leo's reading, May 2021. Oh, did I say 2021? Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Leo's reading, May 2022. Leo's reading, May 2022. So you guys could be getting victory or some recognition over something that happened last year. This symbol is constraint. Yeah, that's what I feel is going on. Or either you could be very mysterious this month, um, Leo. Like in your communications. I see you're blocking off people, places, and things. This symbol means constraint. So that's what I'm saying. It looks like you are. I keep being drawn to this crab, okay? Um, cancer. So you guys either got strong cancer in your chart. Take it as apply. You guys are very emotional too, Leo, this month. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of water. Even in the main energy judgment, see all the water? Just notice that. Okay, so yeah, and then there's water, water, a lot of water in the Two of Swords energy here. I feel like you guys are blocking people off emotionally. Like you just do not want to be bothered. You don't want to be bothered. And you got the swords right in front of your chest. You're protecting your heart, I feel, too. So maybe this could be either you heartbroken or this person or both of you guys. I'm actually feeling like, you know, maybe a little bit, too. You still could have a broken heart over this, too. You know, this person is mad that it ended, though. Um, this King of Swords energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. He's losing sleep. He's up at night thinking about it. I'm also getting, too, that he could be crying about it crying about it that he lost this or he once had this and he don't have this no more this ten of pentacles and that's why i'm saying too you could read the cards this way too that this person that's mad you know that feels like broken hearted up all night is he's mad too because he felt too that he should have invested in this with you working on the eight of pentacles getting to the ten of pentacles Of course, the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So that's all I have for you, Leo. If it resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care.